Instant Fusion is one interesting card when it's splashed. Make sure you guys smash the little crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more OS awesome content. We're going to have Shangri-La or Kash Tira versus some sprite action here, which is actually going to be kind of interesting. I love getting the chance to see like the little tech choices and things out here that can make a game, and uh, this is going to be the one that's going to do some crazy stupid stuff this game. Also, to be fair, we opened up Papaya, Fenrir, and Unicorn, so you know, we're already straight off to the races as it is here. We're going to go ahead and special Unicorn, Unicorn effect to search. I'm oh, just kidding. We're going to slam down the instant fusion here to start this bad boy off. Now, you're probably like, wait, why are we doing this? Well, it's because we can instant fusion out the kick all of us. And in every other situation, you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, if this card is special, then you'll get to take your tier elements card from your deck to your hand. Now, remember, we did get a cash tier version of the cards to include in this deck. Yeah, I, I love to see that, man. Like, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the uh, tier elements cash tier here. During the main phase, you can special summon this card. And if you do, banish one cash tier or tier elements card from your hand or graveyard. All right, yay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and trigger our unicorn effect here to search. We're going to grab uh, Birth. Very, very good. We're going to go ahead, kick Gallus, and then stack up the mills here. Our opponent's going to go ahead and buy steel. Uh, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and get mill cotillion here and we're gonna go ahead and stack up the magnema and then we're gonna continue on here since they did a monster effect unicorn is gonna give us the ability to rip from the extra decks so we actually rip off the toad we're gonna to slam down birth and then we're gonna special the fenrir and then we're gonna search for the rise heart we're gonna make the shangri-la here and this is where things start to go south relatively quickly here because we are running on the best engine ever prios is gonna search for value here comes the scare claw for us we're going to slam down the Rise Heart, Rise Heart Trigger, Banish Big Bang, get three off the opponent's deck. Go ahead and blank a zone, go ahead and get our special, and we're going to go ahead and slam down the Papias at the end of this to grab an additional Fenrir. We'll go ahead and load up Big Bang. Alright, Papias on up, and then we're going to go ahead and make Diabolus as the Mind Hacker. I mean, literally Shangri-La, Rise Heart, and Diabolus as the Mind Hacker. I mean, like, plus a Unicorn extra deck rip on the side here after this is done ripping. This is such an insanely good position that it's actually good. We're going to go ahead and rip the Zeus away from our opponent because we don't want to deal with that, which perfectly understandable. I don't blame you for that. Go ahead and stack up those. Yeah, and our opponent's just going to scoop there. There's real, really no recovering from that, if you want my honest opinion. Um, once you have that much gas and the deck goes that fast, um, there's not really much you can do. But once again, you love one ofs, right? Like, especially when Shangri La is like, oh, you know, we have extra deck room. I, I think that's the thing I like about Shangri La or Cash Tira as a deck is like, you have so much leeway in your deck building that you could mess around with all sorts of cool little ratios and things. You know, you have so much room in your rank seven toolbox that you can also explore that I, I don't think a lot of people really give the deck all that much credit at the end of the day as to what it can do. So here we go. We're going to slam on in to game two here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look, look at our skill, man. We opened instant fusion again. All right. Now, if I had a dollar for every time I, I could see one of twice in a row, it would be absolutely amazing. The opponent's going to go ahead and Fenrir on up. I love Fenrir and Fenrir, don't you? Makes this deck feel so good. Yep. Load up our Fenrir. Go ahead. Special summon blue. Go ahead and trigger blue effect to grab the jet. Easy peasy. Jet special. Grab the smashers. Yay. Go ahead and make the sprint. We're going to go ahead and slam down the good card here. They're going to go ahead and prod a prosperity for six. Oh, look. They're going to go ahead and talents us. Well, that's... Uh, I love getting talents immediately after I resolve a good effect. Oh, boy. All right. Down comes the talents. We're going to lose our evenly. Interesting choice, but I mean, I understand if we if they can't establish a negate or something that they're just going to lose the game from there. But, uh, ooh, spooky. All right. We're going to go ahead and bring down the angler, cranium on up into the negate. We're going to go ahead and slam down the elf here. And then we're going to go ahead and revive the red here so we still have the protection from our, the elf on the red. Eh, mission accomplished. I mean, we, we got to something, right? Like, Cosmic Cyclone plus Smash is pretty good. We're going to go ahead and special the Unicorn here. Unicorn going to get sent down to Banishville. We'll grab our Birth. There goes our friend. And we're going to go ahead and get our Field Spill Cosmic Cyclone. Oh, wow. You know, sometimes, sometimes the opponent just has everything. You know, there's, there's not really much you can do about it. 
We lose our field spell, <laughs> 1,500 life, and we're going to go ahead and trigger the Sprite Elf. Oh boy, oh look, here comes the Sprite Blue. We're going to go ahead and get our extra search here. Hi Pixies, how are you? We're going to go ahead and slam down Instant Fusion. We're going to go ahead and grab Kit Gallus now. All right, Kit Gallus is going to go ahead and get our friend. Hi. All right, we're going to go ahead and rotate off. They're going to negate, that's fine. We're going to go ahead, and now it's actual <laughs> Rise Heart time. Get the Banish 3, which is fine. All right, we're going to go ahead and make the dagger for hire here. All right, thinking on summon. Oh, boy. Well, here comes Smashers, my favorite card in the whole wide universe. All right, well, we get Smashered out of existence. We're going to go ahead and birth, bring back our Fenrir. Since we got the Banish on that, now our Fenrir will get the search here. We're going to grab the Scareclaw. All right, now we're going to begin the process of breaking down this opponent's field. We finally played through everything. Keep in mind, our opponent opened up extremely strong. They took away our evenly. They had so many strong resources here. And now we have to play around this. All right, here comes the Doggo. And we're going to smash down this. We'll go ahead and get our mill three. And we're going to go battle phase. Yay, big Doggo. <laughs> you get to apply its uh, defense for damage. Yay. Swing over with this. Get the banish face down. And then we're going to go ahead and swing on end for 2300. All right. A dangerous game that we're playing here. Opponents now at 1,000 life points. All right. We're going to go ahead and try to reestablish a board here. We're going to go ahead and bring up the Shangri-La here. And the Shangri-La is going to go ahead and beam out a Fenrir. Our opponent's going to bring out their Fenrir here, which, yay, I love Fenrir checks on Fenrir. My favorite. Fenrir for Fenrir. Yep. Go ahead and special down. Now we're going to go ahead and step on into this. Go ahead and do the banish for that. Fenrir on the chain for that. All right. Yep. Yeah, banish that. All right. We're going to go ahead and resolve the starter here. Keep in mind our opponent is at 1,000 life points at this stage in the game. Yeah, never mind. There's nothing under 1,000. Yeah. Can't actually trigger it. Oh, man. Shangri-La takes a strong 2-0 here. And let me, let me tell you about this. I will say for the most part, the fact that Instant Fusion was just the crazy headliner of this game, allowing this deck to, you know, net that fresh 2-0 is actually kind of impressive. It, it just shows them how stupid good something like that is. And, you know, once again, just splashing in the deck for the additional search, you know, for like maybe an odd package that comes up every blue moon. Yeah, it's kind of good. So what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.